Hundreds of thousands of Brazilians still have their homes underwater more than two weeks after the rivers began to rise in Sounder, Brazil, causing the region's worst flooding in record story. In areas where the water is receding, mud, trash and destruction are everywhere. Slowly, the waters are also revealing the grisly reality of what were the last moments for many and the accounts of what was for others a lucky escape. People will start to show up. A lot of people died while sleeping. I took my family in the dead of night. I was checking the water levels all the time, only at the last moment did we leave. A lot of people died sleeping. Official lists had almost 100 people still missing on Wednesday. Rescue teams have been looking for bodies with the help of dogs. This corpse was found on Monday, trapped inside his house in a city close to Porto Alegre, the capital city of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil's southernmost state. By Wednesday, more than 160 bodies had been found. Porto Alegre sits on the shore of a large lake that receives water from at least four big rivers flowing from mountain areas affected by historic rainfall volumes last week. Upstream, the water swept many towns away quickly and suddenly. Here, at the mouth of the rivers, it happened at a slower pace, but the effects were also larger. Most of the 500,000 displaced people live around the state capital. We have the basics. People are helping us with food, water, which is the most important, and clothes. We lost everything. We don't have anything in our house anymore. Nothing. The water went over the roof. Poncio is living with his family in a makeshift hut not far from his damaged home, along with many of his neighbors. He says they feared violence and lack of privacy in a shelter. Now, he fears his son, Mauricio, may have contracted leptospirosis, a deadly infection from bacteria in contaminated waters. More than 50,000 people are in shelters and the local government has announced it will build at least four refugee camps to accommodate them. At the same time, thousands of dogs and cats that were left behind have been rescued. Many of them are living in shelters, waiting to be found by their owners. It was a moment of despair. The water started to rise. My parents are old. We could not bring him. We left as we could. We have been looking for him since the first day. Zhu was found almost two weeks later in this shelter. He was scared, but seemed ready to start a new life, like so many people here. Yabuesha, Rio Grande do Sul, VOA News.